Okay. Uh, so I just finished recording like a 20 minute video and then I realized that um, because of the last thing I was recording that it wasn't recording audio. Therefore the entire thing is um, unusable. But that's fine because you know it gives me a second chance to try. And I think I'm already starting off a lot better. Um, things I talked about in the last one were stuffed animals, art, and my glasses. So we'll start with my glasses. They're new. I enjoy them. Uh, I picked them up. I picked up the frame at uh, Goodwill, and I had them for a good while. Before, that was my phone. I had them for a good while before. I was finally able to take them to my eye doctor to get uh, prescription lenses for them so now I can see with them, which is really nice. I enjoy them, I think they're nice, and that really should be all that matters so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so art. Uh, so the last uh, big thing that I did um, outside of class was this piece here, which from what I can tell when I did my test just now, um, the uh, exposure is a little bright for this big, all this white space. Um, but this is it. Uh, you can see it on my Instagram or my Facebook uh, with better quality because it's not overexposed and um, it's got digital uh, enhancements. Uh, there's a purple version of it that I did on the computer, and I like that color scheme um, a little better than this one. But, yeah, uh, this one I did, it started off as like a little sketch where I was just messing around, and my printmaking teacher came over, and I was showing him what I had wanted to do for that, uh, for our second project, or technically third, and it was open to the same page as where I was sketching this out, which I guess I can show you. Let me find that sketchbook because I just had it. Here it is. I, my sketchbook. Um, it was open to this page, which hopefully you can see well enough. So I was showing him, oh, nice, I just dropped everything. I was showing him, um, these three drawings here, and I had this um, on this other side, and he told me to just do this one because it looked good and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I elaborated on it, and that's what I went with. I have to pick all this up right now. Um, I didn't want to do it because I wasn't sure if I should do it, uh, because it uh, it's like a personal piece, like it has meaning behind it, and because of the person it was based off of, I wasn't sure if I felt comfortable even doing a piece based off of it. But I did, in the end, because I was like, I need to do something anyways, and he already saw it, so who cares. So, I did, um, so I did this for myself, uh, in my traditional style. Um, which was kind of new for me because um, the color on the outside, like all the color in this piece is actually uh, new for me and it's a little, it's a little shoddy um, on the physical piece because, um, because I was using these markers here that I absolutely love. This whole thing is just filled with these uh, water-based pens they're called I call them markers though because they're like soft tipped brush markers but I guess soft tip brush pens works um uh yeah and I just love them I have so many and I just want to go and get more I got them from uh, art supply in Westminster they make me so happy and I just have a lot and I need more uh, they, they, I love these, and I'm, I'm glad I found this instrument, uh, this drawing, is color instrument, because I have been trying to 
get into working with color for a good few years now and finding an instrument where I was actually excited about the type of instrument and all that that it is um, made it so much easier to continue to try to work in color which makes me happy but because this is a bigger scale than I usually work on because I usually just work on the size of the sketchbook here um, it got a little muddy but it's okay because it doesn't look terrible and I was able to fix it up a little bit or at least it worked for the um, digital the final the final piece with my digital edit and everything um, so this is the print that came out of my print class this is what I turned in um, it's a little different I had some problems with uh, the red filler that we were using. It's we're, we're learning different uh, printmaking processes. Uh, so I had some problems with it. It doesn't, but it looks more like a graphic design to me, like this. So it's fine. I'm not like upset with it, because again, I got my um, my actual piece. What I'm working on next in that class is um, this, which. Again, not sure if you can see, but you can find it on my art, uh, my art, my Instagram art account. Um, but I want to do a traditional piece for this one as well because um, the the print isn't uh, coming out the way it was supposed to. I was gonna have to change a little bit because we're using. Um, an emulsion process which if you know printmaking you probably know what that means and what it entails and I was using the it was going really nicely at first with the rubulith process and then I got to using a transparency sheet and drawing on that and that's where it started to get uh, messed up for some reason it also didn't help that I was very stressed out from my jewelry class that I had just before that class. Um, so I have to make uh, changes. But, so I still want, but I want to do the um, traditional, uh, traditional version so I can get all the detail that I initially wanted or something similar to that anyways. Um, I was going through my old DeviantArt account. I say old because I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I was going through my old DeviantArt account and I, during I think 2014 and 2000, early 2015, I was doing like self-portraits um, either like every day or once a week or one a month. But I was doing self-portraits and uh, I stopped doing them but I was doing them because I wanted to learn to do faces better so I just thought you know it's that's how practice works you know you just keep at it and then eventually you find your groove or you get better at it you don't even notice it um so I was doing that uh I don't know if you can hear that we have people painting the apartments and they're out there now again so they're making noise <sighs> Self-portraits. I was talking about self-portraits. I cannot draw myself. I have difficulty. Um, I have only recently succeeded in uh, drawing myself, which are, again, in this one. Uh, I recently switched over to this. This is the one I was using for all of last year, so it's just... Not all of last year, actually. This one I was using just since last fall my last fall semester and I just switched over to this one like a few weeks ago uh, if I want to say a month but there's not a lot in here to be able to say a month maybe a month actually I'll just say a month because I've probably been working very slowly anyways so I want to bottom line is I want to get back into doing uh, trying self-portraits 
um, I was going to show you what I've done recently. Um, so, one of these, um, one of these I have a video process for. Um, so, I hope the exposure isn't too bad for this. So, there was this one that I did at first, and I was really happy with this one. Uh, so, then I did. Then I went ahead and I did this one, which I am also very happy with. This is the one that has the, um, sorry, my glasses. This is the one that has the video process, um, and I was really happy with it. And that actually shows how I use, um, my best friends over here, these, uh, water-based markers. There's, um, also this, which was... A first attempt at like a personal piece and I thought uh, I captured my likeness in the nose and the face pretty well uh, so I was really happy with it that you probably you're not gonna be able to see much at all and I really hope the exposure isn't terrible um, this one there's just a section of it posted on my art account I think that same section is posted on my um, art account for Twitter which is very very slow in activity but I try to update um, but this one I'm excited about but I'm really lagging on starting it is a personal piece about me it's just it's based on what I was feeling and I'm just taking forever to actually start on it um, and then there was one more this one's a lot smaller it was also kind of personal I don't plan on elaborating on it though but it is a uh, personal sketch because it's kind of related to it is related to the same basic thing that happened really again I really hope the exposure isn't terrible on this this piece made me happy because it was the first like official piece that like I finished that had to do with um, it was like emotion driven uh, and like it had meaning behind it and like a, like an actual story to tell and not just like an implied story which is what most of my work is um where it's just really vague and like oh something could be happening here don't know what but you know you come up with it yourself type thing um this one uh everything about it uh each aspect of it has a uh, meaning to it i think aside from the circular background that was just for uh, to pull it together and um, so that, that made me really happy and I am happy with that and this sketch with the sword uh, coming through that I haven't really posted anywhere except my Instagram um, and, but it's because I think it's good for me as a uh, an artist and a person who deals with a lot of things um, I think it's good for me uh, to grow as an artist and as a person uh, because I don't have any what I refer to as outs like I don't drink because I'm depressed I actually cannot physically bring myself to drink if I'm upset I don't smoke because I'm upset or anything like that so I kind of just suffer <laughs> but I think um, I'm starting to learn to uh, create uh, to help me express how I feel and to kind of deal with it better than just sitting there and mulling over everything and suffering inside by myself which I think is really good for my growth as um, a person who you know takes care of themselves and um, as an artist and that that makes me really happy so that was um, that was the last thing uh, regarding art that I was gonna talk about um, um, I am still very anxious when it comes to doing uh, videos and stuff I haven't uh, been streaming um, I started streaming because my boyfriend wanted me to stream and he thought that he felt that it would be really good for me to learn to uh, talk and stuff which is true um, especially as an artist 
bad. I need to learn to like talk and explain things when it comes to my work and uh, talk to other people. I find it a lot easier to talk when I'm talking about art in general. Uh, things in art that like really just because like art is my life so it's so much easier for me to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, I find that this time around I'm recording compared to the time earlier today. Um, I'm finding it easier to talk. I'm not sure why. It's also probably because uh, I haven't really been looking at the camera uh, but I think that's something I'm also going to have to learn to do so that because it's just me pretending to talk to another person so I, I should probably learn to just keep staring at the camera instead of looking all around the room which I'm sure was a lot worse earlier because I know I was noticing it earlier um, I have like a month left of this semester and then I might be taking a summer class uh, we're planning on going to anime expo and my boyfriend wants to do uh, Jojo cosplay, so we're trying to figure out what would be best for him to do, and uh, uh, I think he's I think he's excited about that, and I'm excited because hopefully um, my friend who doesn't who I see like once a year uh, will be down in time because I I went for the first time last year uh, with her because uh, she happened to she was going to be down for the whole summer, uh, so I went for the first time last year with her and hopefully she'll be down in time for it this year. If not, then I'll just go with my boyfriend and it's no big deal. Um, and he'll cosplay and I'll just dress up and look nice. Um, otherwise I will be, I'm supposed to be cosplaying with her cause she really wanted to dress up. Uh, yeah, so we want to go to Anime Expo this year again. So this will be our second time. Um, I'm still very awkward at this though um sorry just staring at my cat for a second i i think i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it off here i really hope i was in frame again uh because last time it was just so bad um okay uh my when i'm streaming my whole like tagline or whatever is i'm bad at games i'm bad at life and then I just go like, you know, my question is just like, how about you? It's really, it's really terrible. But basically the whole thing is, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm so awkward even when I'm by myself. It's very bad.